Please welcome the very lovely Jessica Lang, everybody. Jessica Lang. Jessica, you look sensational with your dress and your lovely jewellery and everything. I look better than I did in that clip, don't I? And that was, uh, <laughs> I've got to say, you got a lot of the makeup on there. That's, uh, you looked a little bit like Andy Rooney in that clip, weren't you? <laughs> That's, uh, did you have to do this five hours and the, putting the exactly. thing on it? Exactly, yeah, all yes, of that. Oh, all of good that. Lord. Hey, are you okay? I heard you had an accident. You fell over or something. Yeah, I, do. I fell over and then off and then down. Ah. So, yes. Were you... Uh, <laughs> no, it was still early in the day. No. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> that meant nothing to me when I was out there. It no, it was a silly, it was a silly accident. I was, I had been sweeping up my cabin and I went to empty the dustpan. Yeah. And uh, I put my hand on a railing that I knew wasn't secure. And just the momentum of that, I just like went off and fell about nine feet head oh, first. Oh, good Lord. Down and, and hit my pump. I hit her. Hit your what? <laughs> hit your pump pump? <laughs> hit a garden pump. Oh, a garden pump. One of those big, <laughs> of those big oh, yeah, iron yeah. garden pumps. Ah, I see. I thought you You did know your... I didn't uh, blow I know plenty. <laughs> no, I thought it was a Danish word yeah, for something well. weird. I... <laughs> I say, though, I, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you've been doing very well for a long time. You could probably move up from a cab and get yourself a, you know... A... <laughs> yeah, I could. I yeah, could, that's... actually. Maybe even buy a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, I, I was very excited to see your book of photographs. Well, but... I'm thrilled to hear that. Yeah, and I'm very... Because this, this uh, dog here, I've just you got a new... You know him? Well, I kind of do. <laughs> I've got a new dog uh, that I, I don't want to get into all it. But anyway, I've got a new dog. And uh, her name is Cabbage. And she looks just like this dog. Yeah. And yeah. she's the fartiest dog I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it's a drag when you have one of those, isn't it? Do you have farty yes, dogs? Yes, I do. How, how many do you have? Two. Really? What are their names? Pine and Jack. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's rather swish, isn't it? <laughs> Pine, Jack, come over here and stand near the pump in case I fall. <laughs> You know, they were there with me when I fell, and they were so upset, they were so scared, and Jack, who is a big standard poodle, uh, when I came back up and, and I was waiting, because I, I, I got inside and I called uh, for help, because I was at the cabin alone, and I was lying there on the porch waiting for, uh, you know, the first responders or the ambulance to come, right. and he came over and he sat on me and wouldn't get up. <laughs> <laughs> That's... But that's his way of protecting yes, you. Yes, he was very concerned about me. Because dogs would worry about you. Yeah. A cat, on the other hand, they'd, had that they'd, they'd take off. If the, no, no. The cat would use it to their advantage. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the cat would see that you were sufficiently weakened and would and attempt... And try to eat you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! That's exactly. why I've never had cats. Yeah. yeah. Me neither. No. Except I once lived with a cat called Ken. But it's another story. Yeah. Hey, no, anyway... <laughs> And I'm looking in your book of photographs, and you took this photograph yes, in Scotland. Scotland. No, I, I, this is, it looks a little bit like the town of Cumbernauld, where I grew up. <laughs> now, where is Cumbernauld? Cumbernauld is halfway between Glasgow and Stirling. Oh. Well, everybody knows now exactly where it is. <laughs> Uh, okay, because I, I did a film in Scotland. It was one of the... I know, it's Rob my, Roy. It's yes, a great film. My favourite places I've ever been. It's nice, isn't it? I love it. I love yeah. it. But this was the Clan McGregor Cemetery in Ben Nevis. Oh, right. So, ben Nevis is the tallest mountain in yeah. the United Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. And that's the cemetery. That's the cemetery. Do you hang around graveyards a lot? I do. <laughs> really? I do. I do. Do you like the, the creepy nature of them? I don't, I don't find them creepy. I find them incredibly kind of... Uh, well, I, 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 I'm fascinated by them. So I, what does that say about me? I don't know. But I, I think, well, I, <laughs> I, I quite like walking around. I always think, oh, this is going to be creepy. And then I walk around the graveyard for a bit and I go, <sighs> Yeah. Like that. They're, it's, they're very peaceful. Well, they are peaceful. You have to, well, yes, yeah, well, there's certainly not, that. Not a lot going on, really, is there? <laughs> no, no, no. They no, kind of they... leave you alone. No, yeah. no. Unless it's, you know, at night. And then... <laughs> oh. Um, tell me about the Grey Gardens movie on HBO. 
Well, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if everybody's familiar or some people are familiar with the documentary. It's a brilliant documentary that was done in the mid-70s by the Maisels. The measles? And measles. All oh, right. Then. Those are the brothers who uh, were the filmmakers. Right. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you did have a good time in Scotland, didn't you? I had yeah, a yeah, great yeah, time I in Scotland. Well, I love Scottish men. Yes, I Yes, I, you can I, see that. Yeah, a little yes, bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's the accent. It's I mutual, think. by the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's one of the best accents. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's working for me, I okay, can tell. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just going to pile it on a little bit, actually. <laughs> oh, so, Jessica, hey. Oh, that uh, oh, wee Shrek party poo. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, Where uh, was I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Grey Gardens documentary about the, the Measle brothers. Who, yes, uh, the Measle brothers who yeah. did this documentary about these two extraordinary women, wildly eccentric and, um, and reclusive. And um, the, the movie is based on that documentary, but taking it back 40 years and kind of... Because what the documentary does is record them at that time in their life, which is they're living in complete squalor. And it, it's really... It's, a, it's one of the great character studies. But what we did with the movie is to go back 40 years because they were very high society. Uh, uh -huh. They were of the Bouvier family. Ooh, and uh, uh, Jackie, Jackie Kennedy. Kennedy yeah. Yes, and uh, the character I play is Jackie Kennedy's aunt. Um, and so they, they started, you know, up here and they ended down here, except it's along... Me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> along the way... <laughs> Along the way, they, they, they never lost their spirit or their humor or their intelligence. They're just extraordinary women, and it was a joy to do. And it's on Saturday night on HBO. Yes, it is. And you must come back and visit us again soon, will you? I would love to. All right. The I lovely love Jessica to. Lang, everybody. Give her a round back. Please welcome Jessica Lang, everybody. You got your microphone there. You know how to uh, pop that on, don't you? Yeah. Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> you all right? Is that good? Yeah, I think so. I can hear you. Yeah, you're all right? Yes. Oh, you fine. made a mess there, didn't you? Yeah, I did. It was your show. I, the, the, I just watched it. It frightened me so much I made a mess. <laughs> it, looks, uh, it looks very frightening. Does it? Yeah, a little bit. It's creepy. Is it, is it a creepy show? It, you know, oh, I... <laughs> I, 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 I... Yes or no? <laughs> I can't judge anything anymore. Really? I'm just, yes, it's true. So. Yeah, have, you, have you seen it? Do you ever watch what you do? or do you I do... try not to. Really? I, I try very hard not to, but sometimes I'm coerced into or, or convinced to do it, and then, of course, I'm always sorry. But I saw, I saw two episodes of it. It's creepy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, when I asked you earlier, is it I creepy, should you should have said, said yes. yes! I should have said yes. Yeah, but you didn't yes. say yes. You went no, on some know, convoluted know, actor's I journey. Yeah, I know. Don't you get sick of talking to actors? No, I love oh, actors. I can't believe it. No, it's true. I do. They're darling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do like actors, Darling actually. Darling little narcissists. Well, some of them, it's true. But I enjoy the company of actors, don't you? Yes. Yeah, I think they're all right. I mean, some They're of all them right. Are... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I just said. I know. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they, sometimes you get actors who are a little too fond of themselves, but that happens in other professions. I they're, suppose it does. You know, it happens... To, uh, I tell you who's the worst. Anchorman. <laughs> Oh, they're awful. I have never hung out with anchormen. Neither have I. They won't so. let me. <laughs> they're like, no, you can't hang out with us. We've got Peabody Awards. I'm like, I've got one. Yeah, yes, you've got the comedy one. Do you? Well, it's, it, yeah, it's a Peabody Award. But I, I got it for talking to Desmond Tutu, which really, it's Desmond Tutu that wins the Peabody Award. I'm just like, hi, you know. <laughs> You ever been to South Africa? No. Really? No. Yeah, I think you'd enjoy it. Thank you. I've never been myself, but uh, I'm, ba I'm just going on a hunch. <laughs> well, where have you been then that you've liked? 
<laughs> I've been a lot of places I like. Mm. Mm, you want to know about them? Sure. Hey, why, you know, you were doing something in Paris now. That's a place I like. Ah, I lived in yeah. Paris for a long time. I so do like Paris. Where about I wish Paris you had taken you me there. I would take you to oh, Paris any old time. Well, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, not, not today. No, of course not. No. <laughs> well, it's raining in L.A. Well, you, can't, you can't move today. Raining in L.A. Raining. It's, it's not actually raining, is it's it? It's Stormwatch 2011. Oh, no. Yes, it is. Storm of the Storm century. Storm of the century. Yeah. yeah. It never rains in Los Angeles. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Well. You don't spend a lot of time here, do you? No. No. But does this creepy show shoot here, though? The creepy show shoots here, that's true, Oh, yes. you're going to have to be here for a while, then. I am. Get yourself a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you, ever, you ever seen a ghost? You know, I've lived in many haunted houses, really? as it turns out. Yes. You see me just... Well, I hope so. Yes, I... Yes. What did you see that was haunted? What did you... Did you see a, a ghoul? You, you know, it's, it's not... Yes, I've actually seen a presence or so. Yes. I've heard them many times. There, I mean, it's... They present themselves in different ways. Most of them are very, uh... You know... <laughs> Easy. There's nothing to be really. <laughs> the hell? You mean easy? Sexually, sexually easy. Sometimes. You've had, <laughs> you've had sex from beyond the grave. No, some are benevolent. There's only been one case that I've really felt like a certain kind of malevolence, you know, that they didn't really want you there. Otherwise, I think they're kind of interesting. Are we talking about ghosts or actors? Well, <laughs> mostly actors don't want you no, there. No, actors, well, actors don't notice you because they're <laughs> looking at other. Ooh, something shiny. They are. <laughs> Ooh, I can see my reflection in it. Aren't I handsome? Yes, aren't I? No, I, um... Have you ever I, lived in a haunted house? I come from Scotland. Well, everything's you know, I mean, haunted it, there. It's everything's haunted yes. there, but it's very much. Can you do fact. more accent? I, that's about as much as I have. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, so, uh, when you lived in Paris, <laughs> where did you live there? I lived on uh, the Rue de Seine and in the Marais. Two different... The Marais is a... Yeah. Uh, I was in the Marais recently. Yeah, but now I think it's very chic, isn't it? The Marais? Parts of it are very chic. I mean, it's, a, it's in the, the north a, a little bit. It's Parts of it are chic and parts of it are still a bit grimy. Grimy, you know? yeah, yeah. It was all grimy when well, I was there. It's the West Hollywood of Paris. Oh. You know that, yeah. <laughs> no, it is. It is. It is. It's, it, no, it is. It's the, it's the, you know, it's the West Village of Paris. You know, it's the... Uh, no, it is. It's the Castro of Paris. I think you know what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. Uh, do you? I think so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, it, well, it is. So, it, I mean, it is terribly chic in places. Uh, uh, yeah, no, when I was there, it was very, um, it was the ghetto, you know, it was... Really? Yeah. Well, why were yeah. you there? Because it was affordable. Ah. Uh, were you a starving student? Yes, yes, mm. I was. Yes, I were was. Were you doing your photography then? No. Oh, painting? No. Mime? Yes. Mime? <laughs> really, mime? Look at you, got it on the third try. Hmm. Not that kind, no, no. no what no. kind of mime were you doing then? You have a tattoo? Walking... Yeah, I got a lot of tattoos, sister girl. Yeah, yeah. Join or, what does that say, join or die? Yeah, join or die. Are you from North Carolina? Uh, no, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're not from North Carolina. No, I, uh, this is, uh, well, never mind. Uh, I, it goes all the way around. Ooh. I'm saying, yeah. Hmm. Not really, it goes to there. <laughs> You don't have any tattoos? Yeah. You do? Yes. Where? I won't say. Oh. oh. <laughs> could be a lie. There's only one way to know for sure. Really? You got a tattoo on your bumpy? <laughs> yes, I got a tattoo there. Did you? We're not right. Well, well you know, I know. I know not right. I know. Oh. I know where it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know where it you is. You don't know. No, no. I, I, <laughs> you I forgot. Guess. I'm sure. <laughs> no, forgot. No. <laughs> if I'd ever have seen it, I would have remembered. Oh I know well, I'm... that's kind. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> what is it of? Do you mind me asking? A moon. Moon. <laughs> Crescent or full? Full. No, no. <laughs> a crescent moon. Really? A crescent yes, moon? Yes. Yes. I got it in Paris. 
The first day I arrived in Paris when I was 19 years old, oh, I went to Pigalle sweet. and, you know, there wasn't much to choose from because there was like, you know, sinking ships and the crucifix and the Last Supper and, you know, so I, <laughs> I didn't want any of those on my hip. I, I you can understand, understand and, why. Yeah, yeah. So you know, what I always wanted was a was a fox hunt on my <laughs> a tattoo of a fox hunt with the tail disappearing. On the, fox. Like the horse is chasing after the fox and the tail just disappearing. Ooh. I have never had the nerve to have no, it done. I, yeah. Yeah. Mm, no, I yeah. No. Sore that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't really want it. Uh, not anymore. Look, we're out of time. Uh, so, uh, what do you fancy? Uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? What are we talking about? <laughs> well, what happens at the end of the interview normally in a late night television show is we go, oh, thanks, let's take a look at the clip, thank the band, and off you go. Well, we don't have a clip, we haven't got the band, well, we showed the clip, and then the band, and so we don't have any of that. So, you can have an awkward pause, a mouth organ, or touch my glitter, no, you can't touch my glittery ball, we don't have that anymore. <laughs> well, you could if you wanted. <laughs> or you can go for the big cash prize. Well, what was the second choice? <laughs> Mouth Mouth organ. organ, you're going to play that. No, you're going to play Oh, no, I'm not going to play that. What was the other possibility? Awkward pause. What does that mean? Well, it's a, it's a pause, which is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> we set up a little... It's a little it's, you, you would do well at this, actually. It's, I bet I would. Well, it's acting, it's, uh, but no talking. It's a pause. Oh. Uh, and we can put a little subtext in it, if you will, like, as well. Uh, like, well, let's try that one, then. Okay, what any was the third choice? Uh, big, big prize. Big cash prize. Yeah, I wish I'd, I'd started this earlier, because... <laughs> We clearly I know we're running out of time, time to discuss it. But okay, never mind. Let's do the. the we'll do the awkward pause. Awkward then. pause. Now, um, do you want a subtext in here or just uh, just general? Uh, These are so many questions. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you know, a sexual subtext, perhaps, or some kind of. You know, maybe there's a bad smell in the room or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you want to do that? <laughs> Yeah, I think... We, we <laughs> I'm so confused. That's good. Let's go with that. Okay. All right. Oh, I should tell you, though, during the awkward pause, I will try and sneak a look at your boobies. <laughs> it's just an acting choice I'm making. Oh. Well, you're not supposed to tell the other actor what your choices are. That's <sighs> why you're Jessica Lang, and I'm late-night douchebag. <laughs> Well, the actors don't have a nerve for a good long awkward pause, but you're doing very well. I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>